welcome to part 2 of Night of Champions in my universe mode. In today's video, we are going to do Cody Rhodes vs Shinsuke Nakamura and 3 title matches in the form of Repeat vs John Cena for the World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins is going to defend his undisputed title against Roman Reigns. And Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, 8 out down under, are going to defend their title against the Chase U. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So the first match about to start Shinsuke Nakamura starts off with a big clothesline reversal by Shinsuke Nakamura of the grapple. So very equal start by both men. Another back suplex gets reversed. And uh, Cody Rose is going to have him in the fireman's carry into stun gun. It has been a quite uh, rivalry in the universe mode just like in real life. They have been going after each other cheap shots after cheap shots costing each other matches and whatnot. Multiple elbow drops to the foot of Shinsuke Nakamura and are working the arms of Shinsuke Nakamura who likes to go for the King Shasa and trips him down and down just does Shinsuke Nakamura another reversal from Cody who is the coach of the game and he's really good in terms of performance. He has almost stunned Shinsuke Nakamura but he retaliates with punches to the face. Cody Rhodes doesn't have the best records in the universe mode but he is still a main event attraction. He is yet to win a big title here. Let's see if he can make his way to the World Heavyweight Champion, which will be the next match between John Cena and uh, repeat my own character. We'll see what happens next. Cody has him stunned. Plants him face first, goes for the cover. Shinsuke Nakamura has taken so much damage very early on in the match. In the previous part, the Miz absolutely buried the champion Davian Priest and become, became the new Intercontinental Champion. So that's the end of Demon Priest's uh, 60 day reign. Very surprising result to be honest, but he played really well. The Miz just went for kicks, big four, and his, all of his finishes real quickly. Demon Priest, on the other hand, couldn't connect any move on him. Since Kinakamura finally takes advantage of the missed move from Cody Rhodes, calculating a boot to the face in second next to the gut. Shinsuke with a spinning heel kick. Cody Rhodes had the distance, so he could have gone for the combo very easily. He went for it, got reversed, but Cody Rhodes is going to turn him around, just kick him in the gut. And now Cody has a signature. Shinsuke almost had a signature. The first person to connect here, Shinsuke also has a signature. Cody Rhodes is going for the suplex, turns him around for a beautiful looking suplex there. Cody Rhodes wanted to go for the pedigree. Shinsuke just stopped him midway and Cody is once again going for the pedigree. Is this a tired pedigree? Yes it is. Cody does have a lot of stamination in the game. Cody Rhodes is now preparing himself for the crossroads. It is the opposite side of crossroads so this is comparatively easy to reverse. But Shinsuke doesn't reverse. Does he have resiliency is the big question. His rating is 83 so he might not have resiliency. Shinsuke doesn't kick out and Cody Rhodes absolutely buries Shinsuke Nakamura. This was a very surprisingly quick match as Cody Rhodes wins over his arch rival and moves on probably upwards to the world heavyweight title picture. He might have a chance to face the winner of uh, John Cena and repeat. I'll see you in the next match. Stay tuned. We have a rivalry result. Miss has won the Intercontinental Championship. That's news we have over here. That's pretty dumb. I'll see you in the next match. So John Cena and Repeat are going to fire out for the World Heavyweight Championship. John Cena locks up on Repeat. Again, Repeat with a reversal, but John Cena's grapples are way too quick. Close line gets reversed. Both men know each other very well. Have fought each other a lot of times. Assisted Bulldog from Repeat. Another reversal from John Cena. Both men reversing one move after the other. German suplex, suplex so finally a big move connects and repeat in this match. And a punch to the face. Repeat is the longest reigning WWE champion. John Cena is a one time champion in this universe mode. But that means he has the highest amount of championships in terms of field WWE. But it doesn't count. It's not real. Close line gets reversed by John Cena. And now he's going for the whip once again in the corner. This time he gets reversed. Another close line attempt in the turnbuckles. They are working the match. They are reversing moves. Carry from John Cena. Stun gun. 
throw it first. Really risky move to execute. And a big elbow drop. And Kips up does repeat. But John Cena is going to smartly roll out of the ring. Reversal from John Cena. I think he wanted to go for a heavy attack. John Cena gets picked up by Hari Karana and thrown on the floor. Once again, German suplex, a release German suplex. Kurt Angle esque, another light suplex. Fisherman's Buster from repeat, and he almost has a signature. But John Cena is going to reverse that move. He's going to whip him, but that also gets reversed once again in the corner. Headstand, moonsault to the face, and just booting him in the corner. John Cena reverses it the second time, turns him around. Wanted to go for a rear grapple that doesn't connect. Repeat with a spine buster on John Cena. That is a signature. I did not know that. And repeat is going top rope. Does he have a top rope finisher? He has an elbow drop that's not his finisher. I was pretty sure I never I will never keep an elbow drop as a finisher. I can keep it as a signature, but never as a finisher. You know, John Cena is on the apron. He reverses the move. He can go for the springboard. He opts otherwise. That's a risky way to come inside the ring because repeat has Batista bomb and maybe guillotine. So both of them are really difficult to reverse. And a double axe handle to the face of repeat. And John Cena is going to turn him around again, just putting him in the face. And this time, Repeat is going to reverse it. A very predictable, predictable pattern. It was a rolling thunder stunner from Repeat, and that's gotten reversed. John Cena has a signature and a finish. He wants to go for the final knuckle shuffle of the top rope. And now he wants to drag him, probably looking for the STF. He is looking for the STF. Is Repeat going to tap out this early on? STF from John Cena. He uses his resiliency. He does have freeze, but resiliency has been used very early on. The reversal of the finisher paid dividends to John Cena. And Repeat is going to have in the fireman's carry. Repeat is going to be stopped by the referee. Reversed. Referee stuck. John Cena is also stuck. A very awkward moment in the match. John Cena gets dropped down with a neck breaker. Weird enough, a weird, weird neck breaker. Repeat and John Cena are battling it out on Night of Champions. John Cena has had a piece number. He is going, so he's just snapping his legs at this point. John Cena wanted to go for the springboard. Repeat is going to intercept John Cena with a reversal of the whip into a shoulder tackle. And he's going for the cover. Repeat is going to kick out at two and a half. A very close kick out. Despite not taking a big finish in this match. Only an STF. And one finish shouldn't be enough for a man rated 89. So let's see what happens here. He's once again going to drag him. Wants to go for the STF. But our, uh, Repeat is back to his feet. Even though it's assisted from the turnbuckers. And he's once again down. John Cena is looking for the... AA the attitude adjustment ducks underneath goes for the you can't see me taunt and misses with the AA as repeat is going to reverse the move and want to go for the Batista bomb John Cena reverses it and comeback move from John Cena this doesn't get reversed like ever once by CM Punk and that's it and John Cena has made a comeback in this match but repeat is going to trip him down very cheap tactic but that works and the close lines come in this gives so much stamina so much momentum but repeat stun meter hasn't moved so he needs to wait a few seconds otherwise a reversal can stun him okay that's even smarter he goes for the cover john cena kicks out at two because he didn't take a finisher so he didn't use his resiliency john cena instantly recovers repeat is dragging him for some reason has him in the corner Powers him up. He's going post to post on John Cena. Something Brock Lesnar likes to do. Again, inspired. It's not real wrestling. Repeat. He's going to drag him once again. This time on the ropes. And again, John Cena can't seem to reverse him. On the ropes and just kicking him in the kidneys, it seems. 
just stop and now a fall away slam from repeat to John Cena. A lot of offense has been put on John Cena. His body is on the red zone. So is repeats, but he has taken so many finishes. Finally, reversal from John Cena. He needs to go for the AA if he wants to win this reversal. I don't know, that wasn't a finisher. It didn't look like it was a finisher. You can't see him and just drops him with a right. And John Cena once again is going for the finisher. It's repeat fin reverse the first. Doesn't look like he's going to reverse the second one. AA powered him up. Goes for the AA. John Cena is down. Repeat is down. He's going for the cover. He changes his mind and now once again goes for the cover very quickly. Repeat. Is he going to kick out? He kicks out a two and a half. A very close kick out by the one time undisputed champion. The longest reigning WWE champion. I always confuse undisputed in WWE because it's just recent. And a knee to the face. Repeat is down. And he's in the corner now. John Cena is hammering with the fist to the face. I am very bad at the usage of the so It's an Indian problem more than anything actually. John Cena wanted to go for the shoulder tackle on the apron and he got he got reversed. Repeat catches him midway with a spine buster, goes for the cover. That's pretty the spine buster, it looks like. John Cena kicks her two without resiliency. Repeat needs to use his finishers more than Doing this, goes for the springboard and uh, Bulldog, pretty mysterious, is going to pick him up. I think he wants to go for the finisher here. Batista Bomb from repeat. This time, John Cena is going to use his resiliency. Didn't go for the cover straight away, but it works. Repeat who wrestles with glasses for some reason gets John Cena. To use his resiliency now, he is going top rope. He's going for the big dive. This is going to do a lot of damage if it connects. He's daring John Cena to get up. Double axe handle. Once again, he's going for the legs. That gets reversed. John Cena and repeat almost have the same amount of finisher meter. The person with the more am most amount of moves will be able to get the finish. It looks like repeat is going to be able to get it first. He is picking John Cena up on his feet. Reverse chop exchanged. John Cena always wants to go for the springboards. And Repeat is going to stop him midway. That looked like a choke slam in all spine, but that was a variation. Repeat is going for the guillotine on John Cena. Is, is John Cena going to tap out? I have very rarely seen him tap out in real life. Is John Cena going to tap out? It looks like he's breaking it up. No, John Cena taps out as Repeat becomes the new world heavyweight champion in my universe mode and becomes a two-time world champion. Repeat has to bust it open from his nose, but he is our new champion. Nonetheless, congratulations to Repeat. He was behind in the most amount in the most of the match. But he did it in the end. This match has not been scripted. Don't blame me. He was better than John Cena. And he might face Cody Rhodes on the line. You never know. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next match. The video is not over. So here we are with the main event of Night of Champions. As Seth Rollins takes on Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins has been ultra dominant in this. Being a champion. He has defeated Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns twice. Once in 2K23. Once in 24. Retained his championship. And won another one at WrestleMania. But. Currently, it looks like Roman Reigns is dominating him. Seth Rollins with a reversal. Both men exchanging reverses. Can't let anyone do a lot of moves on each other. Just like John Cena got hit with so many moves against Repeat and he became the new champion. Now, Seth Rollins wanted to go for a move that got reversed. Looked like a submission to me. But that got reversed. And Roman Reigns is going to power him and go for stun gun. Roman Reigns is playing quite well in this match as he's booting him in the chest and a big fist to the face of Seth Rollins who rolls out smartly. Now both men are going to fire out on the floor. As Seth gets dropped on the floor, almost hit the barricade there. I think that was Roman Reigns' intention but he couldn't connect with it. Finally Seth Rollins with some retaliation in this match. Seth Rollins has been ultra dominant. Roman Reigns Defeated The Undertaker to win that this and uh, WWE Championship. Seth Rollins defeated Roman Reigns to win the championship. 
and these two men have been feuding since because I don't do singles matches at WrestleMania so they couldn't fight at WrestleMania we wanted to go for the kicks to cut but Seth was way too quick reversed it and now suplex from Roman Reigns suplex suplex from Roman Reigns and now he's just hammering it with the fist Seth has different plans he wants to turn him around but Roman Reigns is going to reverse it it's just going to be a reversal fest to be honest both of them have won a tournament in the form of shield in the factions collide faction wars was it faction wars? it could have been faction wars it might be in the playlist if i am not lazy enough to do it in the finals as they were in the same team the shield defeated the team of the authority to win the faction wars season 2 inaugural champions were evolution they were defeated in the same finals by shield the evolution are still the tag team champions they defeated the bloodline to actually, actually batista actually destroyed jimmy uso one batista bomb wasn't enough so he went for the batista bite so Sosua couldn't do anything because he was locked out he could just watch and watch jimmy uso getting tapped out by batista and finally said rollins has lost a lot of his health Roman Reigns almost has a signature. The good thing about Roman Reigns in this game is that he doesn't have a major league corner finish. He has like running finishes, which is good for Roman because he likes to go for those big moves like Spear and Superman and Punch, even though they are overused, but they are still big moves. On because he likes to go it out of nowhere, so he has an advantage. Moon Salt of the Springboard does a lot of damage to Roman Reigns, but he kicks out it too. Roman Reigns has the signatures to so the set. So first one to hit it is going to have an advantage. Fireman's carry. Stun gun once again from Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins gets connected with the Superman punch. Roman is going for the spear. I'm pretty sure about it. He is going for the web. He is going for the spear. If he connects with it, Seth Rollins is going to be in a lot of trouble. The tired reign of Seth Rollins might end very early. Seth Rollins kicks off without resiliency, so that's good from Seth. Roman desperately going top rope, something we don't see Tribal Chief doing a lot. Goes for the elbow drop, misses. Seth Rollins almost has a signature. He had a signature, I think he wasted it with the instant recovery. Drop kick gets thwarted away by Roman Reigns, and he's just going to boot him in the face. Actually, that was just me. And just thrown out of the ring by Roman Reigns. I think he's going to wait for him to get up. No, he is following uh, Seth Rollins. That is very rare from Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns wants wanted to go for the flapjack, like the crucifix, sorry. And uh, Seth Rollins reversed it and goes for the sling blade, which for some reason Finn Balor spams so much in the game. Every third move is a sling blade from Finn Balor. Even though it's good, it looks good, the dropkick and sling blade combo, but Finn Balor has so many moves and they still go for that. They need to fix his AI. Seth Rollins is going top rope. Does he have the stop? That's, that should be super finish. Elbow drop to the kidneys of Roman Reigns. He had the positioning to go for the stomp, but he opts to not go for it. That's not a good strategy from Seth and now he is going to turn him around. And this time, Roman is going to get away. He had everything. He had the momentum. He had positioning over there. And still, he didn't go for it. And now he's just getting hammered by Roman Reigns. Is Roman Reigns going to be a one-time undisputed champion in the game? He has been the longest reigning in real life. Awesome pin. Seth Rollins kicks out at 2. Seth still has a signature and a finish. He needs to go for it very quickly. He has a hit one in the in this match. And finally a reversal of the carry because Roman was just manhandling him at this point. Even though the damage, damage states otherwise. Seth Rollins wanted to go for something in the corner. That got reversed. Once again the carry gets foiled into a reverse TDT. Seth Rollins needs to go for a finish. He's going uh, to top rope. He is going top rope. I think he's going for the moonsault. His signature. He's going for the splash. His, his signature splash. He 
went for the cover instead. He had him stand he could have gone for the stomp. Roman Reigns kicks off without needing a resiliency meter. And Seth is going to wait and go for the stomp. Roman doesn't reverse it. That's very rare. Roman reverses a lot. But Seth drops him with a stomp. This time Roman is going to use resiliency. No, he still doesn't have a meter. Roman uses resiliency. He didn't have the meter. It looked like he didn't, but he used it. So that works. Roman Reigns drops him with a big clothesline. Satran is going to find it because he was mid-air. So Roman Reigns using his agility to his advantage went for the cover something. Tribal Chief does a lot. And that quick boot to the face. You don't have any answers for that. The second fastest regular move after Hulk Hogan's knee in the game. Hulk Hogan's moves are the fastest in the game. Scoop Slam is the fastest finish in the game. Even quicker than Crossroads, for some reason, Roman Reigns goes for the easy to reverse spear. Doesn't reverse it because he is not a human. Human can reverse it like 9 out of, nine out of 10 times. Cetrons get discovered. Uses resiliency. To, so both men have used the resiliency. The first man to hit a finisher, which looks like it's going to be Seth Rollins, is going to win it. But you never know, Roman Reigns can kick out of 2, 3, 4. So can Seth, he can kick out of a lot of finishers. Punch to the face, he wanted to go for that previously. A big close line. That looked, uh, that looked very childish from Seth, but I'm pretty sure he does that quite better. Not a springboard, this time he stunned him, but still doesn't go for the storm. He had everything there. He powers him up, but... Roman is going to knee him in the face. The bad blood is showing in this match, even though that's not something the game does, but understandable. Power bomb from the ground up from Roman Reigns, the power advantage, and he has a signature. He is going for a Superman punch. Another move which is very easy to reverse, but it's an AI. AI Rollins gets dropped. Roman is going for the spear. Roman doesn't wait. He doesn't make the mistake that Rollins did. Roman has also been busted open. This is going to have a problem with my ads in this video. And Seth Rollins has been dropped. Is Roman Reigns going to be the new champion? Are we going to have a new champion? Rollins kicks out at two and a half. That was a very Roman Reigns-esque kick out. Both men were champions when the feud started in real life. And both of them aren't champions now. So that's how long. It has been since I had last uploaded a Universe More episode. Roman Reigns turns him around. Back suplex gets reversed with a punch to the face. Set doesn't go for the finisher once again. He's been very, very not proficient. It's been the opposite of proficient with his finishers. Roman, he has gone for every single opportunity he has got. And hasn't been reversed so far. Set Rollins has the disadvantage here. John Cena got pinned so early, but Seth Rollins isn't going to be pinned that early. I think the game knows that uh, the undisputed title is bigger than the World Heavyweight Championship. All these two men are just way too strong because John Cena is higher rated than Seth Rollins. He's 94. Might be a difference in stats, but you never know. John Cena should always have a high kick out rate. That was a very disappointing finish, to be honest. I wanted to wanted uh, John Cena to look like a hero, but he didn't. He just failed very easily. Repeat looked like a hero more than him. John uh, Roman Reigns is going top row. He is going to try for the elbow once again. Yes, he is. Once again, gets reversed. As is going to be punched in the face by Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins wants to drag him center of the ring, but Roman Reigns is going to recover. He has a lot of health. Yes, I was right. Wanted to drop him. Seth Rollins has him in the corner. He doesn't have the corner finish this time around. Roman Reigns elbows him in the face. Either way. A lot of violence in this match. Roman Reigns has been busted open above his orbital bone. And just cranking the head of Seth Rollins. This time, Roman Reigns gets reversed. He had... He had done that successfully so many times. Roman Reigns gets covered once again. That's a bad strategy. He is going to kick out two and a half. He hasn't hit a big finisher. He has just hit one in this match so far. 
so still doesn't want to go for it does he go for it now he's going for the comeback i've never seen him do it sling blade that's his comeback okay that was his comeback from seth rollins he's going to pick him up goes for this pedigree okay it is a pedigree he wants to go for the super finish as something he used to get him last time let's see if he goes for the cover he is going for the springboard moonsault which has damaged roman reigns so much how are we going to see a super finish in this match is roman reigns going to kick out he kicks out two and a half the fans are enjoying it there's a wave going on in the crowd now seth Rollins wants to go for the storm when he could have gone for the super finisher storm gets reversed into rko by seth rollins sorry roman reigns and Roman Reigns has a signature, he's going for it. He goes for the drive-by, headbutt, kick to punch to the face. He's going to the outside, doesn't, we don't get the cinematic move. Roman Reigns is going to ensure that Seth Rollins is going to be down for good. Drive-by something which is very rare and comes out only for big matches from Roman Reigns. And now he's going for the spear. Are we going to have a new undisputed champion? Seth Rollins reverses the spear, knees him in the face. Seth could have fumbled that he could have gone for the super finish. He opted to go for something else. Roman Reigns goes for the spear. You don't give Roman distance. He goes for the cover. Seth Rollins kicks, doesn't kick out. And Roman Reigns is our new undisputed champion. Is his reign of terror going to ensue on my universe? As you have got a new undisputed champion, the tribal chief is a two-time world champion in my universe mode so we have seen three title change hands repeat won the world heavyweight championship the miz won the intercontinental championship and now the tribal chiefs era is about to start as he has the wwe championship for some reason i will see about that thanks for watching have a really good day